another day, another mid-size SUV, but this one promises to be closest to the heart of Citro here in India. The brand came calling in 2019 and launched its first model, the C5 Aircross, in 2021. Since then, it has also driven out the C3 and the all-electric EC3. Now, though, is the time for the C3 Aircross to make its presence felt. This car comes with one engine option, one transmission choice, multiple customization options and a whole lot of body colors too. The unique highlight also is the fact that it is offered in 5 plus 2 seat setup where the last two seats can be removed and stored away for additional cargo space. Now a whole lot more on that and the looks, the drive, the features, the comfort and so much that I have to say in this episode on HD Auto. I'm your host Shubhadeep Chakravarti and this is the first drive review of the Cetro C3 Aircross SUV. Now, the biggest strength of the Citro C3 Aircross would be its styling on the outside. Few SUVs can actually match sporty appeal with a bold and aggressive presence, and this one manages to do just that while staying true to the inherent design ethos of the brand itself. A large black front grille dominates the face profile of the SUV, and on either side are LED DRL units and large headlight units as well. Towards the bottom, you get the fog lights and a grey skid plate. The double upward facing arrow, the Citroen logo, makes its prominent presence felt as well. And while the bonnet itself is not overly aggressive, the strong character lines give it some really good visual character as well. Over at the side, the C3 Aircross stands on 17 inch wheels. The alloy design themselves are not extremely unique because we've seen them on previous Citroen models and yet look quite sober, quite classy. The highlight here though is 200 millimeters of ground clearance which by the way is not just a figure but it's very evident just by looking at the side profile of this vehicle. Additionally, you get side cladding on the doors, roof rails as well as a nice wheel arch to cover the wheels on this vehicle. At the rear, the C-shaped LED taillight units look very cutting edge and very modern. There is the Citroen logo the Citroen badge and the C3 Aircross lettering also stands prominently. There is a roof spoiler and a shark fin antenna to complete the design philosophy of the C3 Aircross model. What's mighty interesting about the exterior of the C3 Aircross is that this is one of those few cars where there are more dual tone options than single tone options. If you're looking for this car in a single tone option, you can choose from four. But if dual tone is more to your liking, then there are six options to choose from. The one that you see here is just one of them. But while the exterior styling is on point, the cabin of the C3 Aircross is a mixed bag. Of course, the biggest highlight here is the 5 plus 2 seat setup, and it is a breeze to detach and reattach the last row seats. Two clips and Velcro straps hold the individual seats in place, and it takes less than a minute to remove them or bring them back in. Getting into the last row is easy, but space is quite a premium. This is clearly for occasional occupancy. The flexibility is great, but if this is not for you, then there is the conventional 5-seat layout as well, with a segment-leading boot space that is great for bags of every size. Space is also decent for second-row passengers, even though three side-by-side -side would be a tight fit. In the 5 plus 2 layout, there is a roof-mounted AC vent, but in the five seat layout, there is no second row vent at all. And this is a big miss. There is also no sunroof in any version. And while I'm okay with that, Citroen ought to have incorporated this crowd pleaser. The business end of the vehicle are the front two seats, which are placed nice and high, even if rather narrow. A large infotainment screen greets you with wireless support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay but look elsewhere if you want wireless phone charging. iPhones too will require conversion cables because there are only the old school USB ports. The driver display unit is all digital, which is good, but the interface is 
once again a tad bit arcadish. Overall, the cabin has a light coloured scheme and come with two colour options for the dashboard. The seats in white look good but may be hard to maintain. The feature list though is rather bare. No ambient lighting, no seat ventilation, no power adjustable seats, no air purifier and even small things like roof handle for the front passenger is missing. I'll excuse Citroen but only if the eventual pricing for this car is extremely aggressive. The Citro has equipped the C3 aircross with the same engine that is also doing the duty inside the C3, which means it is the 1.2 liter turbo petrol motor. But while the C3 comes with both turbo and the non turbo versions, this one comes with turbo right from the base up. So that in itself should make things quite interesting. The engine on the Aircross makes the same amount of power and offers the same amount of torque as the C3 does. So the figures that you're looking at is uh, around 108 bhp and 190 newton meters of torque. Now it may seem like because the engine is the same, the power and the torque figures are the same between the C3 and the C3 Aircross, the Aircross uh, would be under part, but that is actually not the case. On the move, the Aircross is almost as nimble, if not as nimble exactly as its smaller sibling in terms of dimensions of course and uh, the C3 Aircross has a very nimble trait and that is actually what we really like when we were driving the turbo variant of the C3 as well. Now something that I should have mentioned right at the start it's obvious but still needs to be highlighted is that Citroen does not offer any diesel motor and there is no automatic transmission on either the C3 or the newer C3 Aircross. Instead, what you get on the Aircross is a six-speed manual transmission unit. Not having an automatic in a mid-size SUV, well, that can be quite a big deal breaker for many potential customers looking for a purchase in this segment. But if you're not one of them, if you're happy with a manual transmission, then the good thing is that this one is actually very, very nicely put together. The gear shifts are nice and smooth, the gear holes, especially the second and third and the fourth, are really long. So the need to actually keep working the gearbox is quite minimal. Out on open roads, you can actually stretch the rev bands and extract the enormous amount of power, enormous in comparative terms, of course, that this car has on offer. But while changing gears is, well, relatively easy, what I do not like is this armrest for the driver because when it is in this position, changing some gears is quite an exercise for my elbow and arm. It interrupts, it intervenes between some of the gear shifts, especially when you're going from second to third, where your elbow and arm have to be really twisted to make the gear shift. So instead, mostly what I've done is not made use of the armrest at all for a better gear shift experience. Suspension is another aspect that deserves a very special mention. And really no surprise is that Citro is one of the best in the business when it comes to fine tuning their uh, suspension setups. Now they claim, the company claims that you will experience the magic carpet effect. So the car moves or rather glides over speed breakers, speed bumps and whatnot. Perhaps not a fair comparison between this and the flagship C5 Aircross, but for most parts, the C3 Aircross has handled everything that we've thrown in its way really well. The steering setup on the C3 Aircross isn't quite excitable but is par for the course. But what I really like about this vehicle is how high I'm sitting so I get a nice commanding view of the road ahead and that probably underlines its SUV credentials. The Citro C3 Aircross SUV comes across as a very well thought out project. It is not aiming for the stars, but a place in your garage, partly because it knows exactly the kind of rivals it is up against, some of whom have been dominant players for years and years in this segment. But for this particular model, the strength is in believing in its own strength. Robust styling on the outside, spacious cabin and good drivability are some of its key pillars. The feature list could have been a bit more extensive and the fit and finish in the cabin is just about par for the course. But much of the C3 Aircross's success would depend on how well Citroen prices this model. 
What do you make of the all new product from the French manufacturer in the country? Do let us know and do not forget to check out our extensive written review of the C3 Aircross as well. In this episode, that's all the time we have. And as always, always drive safe to stay safe. Thank you for watching.